I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We took battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. Follow me on Instagram at hrw underscore podcast. Follow me on Instagram, I mean follow me on Twitter at hoops underscore wrestling. Topic for today is wrestling. More importantly, Bailey is back, you feel me? Bailey is back. Round of applause for that. Bailey made her return at SummerSlam and she didn't come alone. We're going to talk about that. But Bailey being back is a very big deal. I'm not going to lie. I've been missing Bailey. Like, she was the star of the pandemic era for a long time. Her and Sasha Banks was killing it. I would say her, Sasha Banks, and Drew McIntyre was the MVPs of the pandemic era. You feel me? Like the PC era before they went to the Thunderdome. It was Bailey and Sasha Banks. You can even say in the Thunderdome, it was Bailey and Sasha Banks. They was killing it in that time. You feel me? And then she got injured right before we went to live fans at Money in the Bank. I guess what? Just training for the match? She got injured training for the match. You feel me? Because Vince McMahon wanted everybody to be crisp and not botching stuff. Weird stuff. You feel me? So she's been going for almost a year and some change. You feel me? At least 14 months she's been going. Now, the reports came out even before Vince McMahon stepped down or resigned or retired, whatever. It then came out that she was going to come back at SummerSlam. We just didn't know how she was going to come back. I was saying she should go back to SmackDown, you feel me? Because I feel like her and Ronda Rousey is a good rivalry. SmackDown needs somebody because Sasha Banks is no longer there. Charlotte Flair is not there right now. So they need some real women star power, you feel me? And I don't know if I said this in a video on here, but I've been saying that I think I thought Bailey should come back as a fact, like with a faction. She should lead a faction. Just because it would be something different. We seen Girl Next Door Bailey. We seen Hill Bailey. And now if we see Faction Bailey, you feel me? Leader Bailey, that would be dope. You feel me? So she comes out at SummerSlam right after Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch have this great match, you feel me? It was as good as their WrestleMania match. But it was still a great match. I'm not going to lie. She comes out. And she also brings out Dakota Kai and Io Shirai. You feel me? Place is going nuts. This was a big deal. I'm not going to lie. Dakota Kai got fired, bro. Gangster like two, three months ago. She got fired. Whenever Malcolm Bivens, Stokely Hathaway, and them got fired, the last round of cuts, Dakota Kai was in that. So she's brought back. Everybody was saying Io Shirai got one foot out the door. She want to go back to Japan. Yeah, right. She's back. You feel me? And now she got a new name, Io Sky or something. But it's dope. I'm not going to lie. This is very dope. This is very dope. This is going to work too. It's going to work because one, Triple H loves all of them. Two, I can already see the story that they're going to tell. It's like, bro, niggas did not care about us. You feel me? Like, P was Jack and Bailey when she was gone, but mad stuff was happening. Sasha Banks was popping. Naomi and that stuff happened. Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch came back. Mad stuff happened, you feel me? Dakota Kai was in NXT for years. Io Shirai was in NXT for years. So that's clearly going to be the story that they tell. It's like, yo, bro, they had us in developmental when they never wanted us up here. Now the old man's out of here. We on the road to take over. That's definitely going to be the story they tell, you feel me? And that's a very good story. Also, now we got Becky Lynch as a baby face, you feel me? That's dope for a few reasons. She was a pretty good heel, but she's a way better baby face. This last year showed that, that she can be a great heel, but Becky's a way better baby face. And people just naturally like her, you feel me? So that's a plus turning her back baby face. Also, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. Liv Morgan wins and Ronda Rousey turns heel after the match. Brilliant, you feel me? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And the crowd was definitely over Ronda Rousey since before WrestleMania, you feel me? And they definitely didn't want to see Liv Morgan lose this quick. So turning Ronda Rousey heel gets her as a new character and then that builds up Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch for this year's WrestleMania or next year's WrestleMania. So the women's division, bro, is definitely that quick. They just turn shit up on SummerSlam. And if you think Triple H is not on the phone with Sasha Banks and Naomi right now, 
you're stupid. You feel me? Triple H was on the phone with Sasha Banks before, like, two months ago. When the reports was coming out that she's charging 30000 for an appearance, that's when Triple H was on the phone with her, bro, against her. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Sasha Banks for the rest of the year, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see her this year, you feel me? But we're definitely going to see Sasha Banks back in WWE. No ifs, ands, and buts about it, you feel me? But that quick, you feel me? Monday Night Raw just got three new great women's wrestlers. Dakota Kai is a great wrestler. Io Shirai is a great wrestler. Bailey, great wrestler, you feel me? And I feel like the other thing that they was lacking, Bailey's definitely going to make up for. Bailey's a great promo, you feel me? And they all almost had the same story. They all was like the girl next door, and then they turned here and became badasses. So now seeing them come together makes total sense to me, and I can't wait. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.